featuring the champion, Johnny Bumpus, coming off an eighth round knockout over Randy Shields last February. Bumpus looking to continue his impressive record. Bumpus uncanny and painting opponents with that jab along with excellent hand speed. 18-0, 13 by knockout for Bump City, and he's defending against 22-year-old Michael Solid Gold Bradley of Columbus, Ohio, record of 19-1 with one draw. Bumpus and Bradley coming up. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Main event productions in association with the beautiful Americana Host Farm Resort. Welcomes you to 12 rounds of boxing for the United States Boxing Association Junior Welterweight Championship. The referee for this bout, Hank Sisko. Introducing in the red corner, the challenger. He weighs in at 139 and one half pounds. He's wearing the gold and black trunks. Ladies and gentlemen from Columbus, Ohio, Mike Bradley. With the gold trim, he weighs in at 139 pounds from Clementon, New Jersey, the United States Boxing Association Junior Worldweight Champion, Johnny Bump City Bumpus. Johnny Bumpus, the gold medal winner of the 1980 U.S. Olympic Trials in Atlanta, won the gold in the 139-pound light welterweight division. And many boxing people feel he is on the same path as Sugar Ray Leonard, who won the gold at the 76 Olympics at 139 pounds. All right, shake hands, now let's have a good fight. For Bumpus, his second fight here in Lancaster, won a 10-round decision over Pat Hallisey here last October. Michael Bradley at five foot seven, usually gives away much in size and is giving away five and a half inches here today against Bumpus, but Bradley with the good ring presence, known for fast hands and effective jab, Earlier in his career, criticized for not fighting top-flight contenders. That obviously not the case here today. Round one, scheduled for 12. Michael Bradley, one-time sparring partner for Aaron Pryor. They call him Solid Gold, or he calls himself Solid Gold. Well, Solid Gold got a little tarnished in the last uh, two out of the last three fights. He had a draw, a win, and a loss. Early in his career, a year ago, we tried to make this match between Bumpus and Solid Gold Bradley. And at the time, we were told it's too early. This is going to be a big fight down the line. Georgie Benton at that time said, I'd rather have my fighter fight the other guy before he learns his business. Let's get it on right now. So here we are, a year later. Get out, get out, please. Bumpus now the USBA Junior Welterweight Champ. And Bradley tr struggling to get his career back together. Look that hurt. He's gone right back to jabbing and right back to standing in front of him. He's not running away from Bumpus. Bradley has faced right, southpaws before and has fared well, but no one in the class of a Johnny Bumpus. And frankly, there are a few people in the contenders that are in the class of Johnny Bumpus. As we've been saying all along, he is the cream of the crop of tomorrow's champions. We started two years ago on NBC. And outside of the champions in that division, I don't know who is in the cast with smooth Johnny Bumpus. That only the second time that Bradley has been put down. He won a unanimous decision over Isidoro Marino of Cuba after Marino knocked him down in round three. That is most exciting one. But Bradley came back after he was sent to the canvas. Less than a minute left, round one. He's lucky to have survived. I don't think he was hurt badly. In the, it was sort of a flash knockdown. Solid right on the chin, an uppercut, no question about it, but he was not wobbled badly. 
Also, it's the first round, and all your energies and all your training come to bat here. Oh, hold it, hold it. Scoring for the bout here in the state of Pennsylvania on the five-point system. The three-knockdown rule in effect in that this is a United States Boxing Association title fight. No standing eight. So we have the knockdown early portion of this first round, but Bradley able to survive. And a minute into the opening round, here's the knockdown. The right hand uppercut by Bumpus that caught Bradley, but Bradley able to come back and survive the round. And Bradley coming out strong here in round two. Both fighters in extremely good shape. Very finely trained. Not an ounce of fat on either one. Big roaring, cheering section for Bradley. And this is the third week in a row we've been out in the country with fights where there's a sellout crowd and a roaring audience. Bradley does have a contingent with him from Columbus, Ohio. a professional that Johnny Bumpus has been sent down and let's see how he reacts to the knockdown. Uh, he's reacting exactly the same way that Bradley did. He's coming right back fighting. And the referee Hank Sisko breaking the fighter. You know something? Bumpus' his legs are still not right. He still can't get them together. Right now Bradley has it on opportunity to put one of the shockers of this year in boxing. He, every time they clinch, Bradley manhandles Bumpus. He can't get his legs together. Less than a minute left. Round two. In the first round, it was Bumpus with the knockdown of Bradley. Here in the second, Johnny Bumpus put down for the first time in his professional career, put down by Michael Bradley, the 22-year-old from Columbus, Ohio. Bradley looking strong this round, looking confident this round. And Bumpus for a change, looking tentative. Tough exchange. Bradley landing some tough shots, but throws Bumpus. Bradley continues to duck under, which makes it uh, more difficult for Bumpus to find the shorter man. That is it oh, for round two. Of Johnny Bumpus, trainer George Benton, in conversation. And here is Michael Bradley landing on target, and Johnny Bumpus goes down in the second round. Another look at that, you see how flush his punch was and how the legs just collapsed like a tripod and a camera collapsing. And Bertie, as you said, it, it took most of the round for Bumpus to regroup, did not get the legs back until the end of the round. This is round three, scheduled for 12, and that this is a USBA title fight. Should the scoring be even at the end of 12, they do go sudden death for the possibility of an additional three. Scoring on the five point, handled by the referee and the two judges, referee Hank Sisko, the judges Paul Battle, Adelaide Tickdale, and here's Bumpus with the attack as we open up the third round. Well, the way these two guys are going to be lucky if they get to 12 rounds. Because they are absolutely trying to end it each round. Bumpus fighting off the ropes well. Bradley with that short stature is being able to get inside and land short, straight right hands. Which is unusual for Bumpus. He never gets hit that way. Bumpus usually controls the fight at a distance. Keeping him off with his right jab. 
some low blows by Bumpus. The referee, Hank Sisko, that we saw last week, says keep him up. Bradley landing effectively with uppercuts on Bumpus. Bradley continuing to tie Bumpus up. We have not seen Bumpus at a slipping, jabbing best. We have not seen the Bumpus of motion, the one that we see with that fluid motion, controlling, and now it's Bradley moving. Bradley's got to stand close with those short arms pumping away. Bumpus won the USBA title by a 12-round decision over Willie Rodriguez back in October of 81. Bumpus said that was his toughest fight as a pro. I think that statement will be revised. And this keeps up this way. This is going to be a very tough one for both men. Oh, very low blow on the part of Bradley. Oh, good right. can bang. There's no two ways about that. That's two rounds. He's got him in trouble again. Less than 30 seconds left in this third round. You'll hear the Johnny Bumpus situation captured perfectly by his trainer, George Van. Let's listen in between rounds. So now you're best, you got to stay close to this guy so you don't get it with that long right hand, right? Yeah. All right, Johnny? All right. Now listen. Ben, listen to Johnny. Johnny don't, don't fire too many shots from the outside. That's why you're getting hit, see? Just use your jab, use your jab, and get in close and punch. Don't throw your straight left hand, see? Okay. Because you're, you're too far away from him. And so Michael Bradley put down for a second time. Johnny Bumpus put him down in round one. Bumpus went down in the second. At the end of that third round, Bumpus was just starting to find the range, and it looked like Bradley was going to cave in from body shots. As he opened this round, he looks like he's going down again. As he opened this round, Bumpus opened a concerted attack on the body. Looks like something must be wrong with the ribs. Michael Bradley, he's caving in every time that cutting hook lands. And Bumpus has taken control. Johnny Bumpus continues to go to the body. That's what's winning in this fight right now. Bradley seemed to have lost heart right at the end of that last round. See? Now, wait a minute. That's not a knockdown. Neither his knees nor his gloves touch the canvas. That should not be a knockdown. Something's happening to him. He's either broken a rib or something's hurting him on the side. And there is no standing feet in the rule book. Well, that was a crouch down. Yeah. Nothing hit the canvas. Something has got to be wrong. Every time he lands that left hook, his Bradley's knees buckle. Now Bumpus is so well aware of it. Oh, he just got Bumpus in trouble. Michael Bradley continues to land on Johnny Bumpus. He came out of the crouch, but here's Bumpus right back. Usually the style of Bumpus is to hit and not get. This Bradley must have a devastating punch. I've never seen Bumpus get in trouble this much in a fight. And we're final second. Round four. The right hooks of Johnny Bumpus to the body of Michael Bradley have been paralyzed.
Rice and Kramer. As we move on to round five, back in round four, here's that crouch down as uh, Michael Bradley went down on the crouch. Nothing touching the canvas, could not be called a knockdown. I don't know why they counted over. It's academic because he went down again, so it's a 5-3 round no matter what. And what does the fight doctor a scorecard show? Wow, 18 to 16 right now. They both scored right, five three out, fights. And Bump was, of course, ahead. All right, the referee, uh, Cisco, with the warning. Bradley has gone down twice, plus the crouch down. Bump has went down in the stutter. For the first time in his professional career, he was put down in round two, but Bump is looking stronger, although you never know with that right hand of Bradley. He's dominating Bradley right now. He is painting him. He's dominating him. He's doing anything he wants to with him, and Bradley's only hopes to get that heavy punch up. Beautiful fighter Johnny Buffers is when he's on the attack. We're at the Americana Host Farm Resort, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. Bradley with the combination. Buffers looking to make the move back. And continues to land to the body of Bradley. Boy, Bradley winces visibly every time he's hit by that right hook. There he goes. Again. Two. And Bumpus was right in delivering the punch because Bradley had not gone down, but Bumpus, uh, being the gentleman, walked away. A lot of guys would have continued pounding. Oh, good right hand by Bradley. He just can't take that thumping body attack. There has to be a, either a separation or a fracture of the rib. Because he's just going down when the pain gets too much. Unless that's counted as a standing eight count, I cannot imagine no, what they're no, doing. No standing eight. No standing eight here. So what is he doing? Whatever he's doing, it's buying him time, but the rounds are going by, and they're big rounds for Bumpus right now. Uh, Bradley holding the Bumpus and then connecting with the right hand. And we're coming up on 10 seconds left in this fifth round. This is scheduled for 12. was right. The man's not down. All right. This has been a, a wild one. We'll be right back. Today you need an oil. Okay. Here you go. That's okay. Come on. Turn your left elbow inside. Let's go, Brad. Come on, let's go. All right, Michael Bradley. Out for round six. It has been a bizarre foul. Look at the left eye on Johnny Bumpus. Perhaps we'll get him when he turns. That left eye is closing. Yes, that's where he's been getting gone by that right hand. Oh, hard punches by Bradley. Bradley at the beginning of every round. Has to start out. I believe Bumpus' eye is closing. Looks like the effect of one of those thumbs. And from the corner of Bradley, they're screaming, Bumpus can't see out of the left eye. And if he can, all he can see is a slit. The referee came over and had a long conversation in the corner about his ribs. They, they denied any injury. It says nothing's wrong. Keep on fighting. So Johnny Bumpus, perhaps the class of the Olympic trials of 1980, facing his toughest moments as a pro. He was put down in the second round. He has put Bradley down on several occasions, including the unique crouch down moves of Michael Bradley. And it has turned into a brawl here in round six. But it has become desperation time for Bumpus with that eye closing. And you 
get the feeling all Bradley has to do is wait around for that eye to close, survive a couple of more rounds, then he's got a whole six rounds to go to work on a half-blinded Johnny Bumpus. Good right hand on Johnny Bumpus by Bradley. today, but Bradley has surprised. That's getting to be just a brawl, and Bradley is surviving somehow, in spite of the fact that his side is hurting. He's hanging on here, waiting for that right hand to land on the blinded bumpus. And again, Bradley is hurt. The body blows, and Bradley is put through the rope. Adelaide Tyndale put through the ropes Johnny Bumpus reaching the point where he needed the knockout the left eye closing blood dripping down the left eye Bumpus had been put down earlier Bumpus in a war with Michael Bradley and able to pull it out and now Johnny Bumpus can smile but he was not smiling earlier Johnny Bumpus retaining his USBA junior welterweight title, pulverizing body blows to stop Michael Bradley. And Bumpus doing it, seeing out of one eye. Johnny Bumpus, the 22-year-old out of Tacoma, Washington, now at 19-0, 14 by knockout for the official announcement. Let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Americana Host Farm Resort, the time, 2 minutes, 37 seconds of the sixth round. Seconds, round six, Johnny Bumpus able to stop Michael Bradley in dramatic fashion. We'll be back to talk with Bump City. And it was Marv Albert with Ferdy Pacheco moments ago. Johnny Bumpus successfully defended his USBA Junior Welterweight Championship by knocking out Michael Bradley in the sixth round, but uh, not an easy one for Bump City. Let's go to the ring. Here's the fight, Doctor. Bump City, you've heard bumps in the night, but that was a big one in the second round. Right, uh, he caught me with a good shot. I wasn't, my mind wasn't hurt. My legs just went, and I got up and took care of business, and that's the main thing. I really wanted to know for myself, not that I was anticipating getting knocked down, but getting knocked down and be able to get up and win the fight, that's, to me, is very important. It certainly is. He kept going down, not quite down. He never touched the canvas. We were calling them crouch downs. What was that? Right, uh, I was hurting him to the body, and he would go down a little low. And the referee would step in where, as you saw later on, I started, just continued to hit him until he went completely to the canvas. It was totally fair to hit him because his neither his knee nor his glove had hit the canvas. I don't know what they were counting for. That's correct. He was just crouching over. Like you said, he wasn't going down and the referee kept stepping in, which I believe if the referee wouldn't have stepped in, the fight would have been over in the second round. All right. Now, we've seen you in tough fights. Willie Rodriguez was certainly a tough fight, but I got to say, this was the toughest one I've ever seen you in. Right. Uh... He hit me with a couple good shots. The, the best shot he caught me was in the second round. He, he caught me in the eye, and I'm not sure what round it was. Uh, it that, may br have been... that brings me to something. Your eye is closed. Is that a thumb, or is that uh, a well, punch? I really couldn't you know, tell you what it was. I, it may have been a punch, but the main thing is that I won. Now, Lou, 
Duva, you had a string of tomorrow's champions, of course. We've always called uh, Johnny the cream of the crop. Where do you want to go with the cream of the crop? Well, in about an hour or so, Aaron Pryor's fighting. I hope he wins because we're coming after Aaron. We want that title. We want to fight Aaron Pryor for the title. All right. And with that challenge, back to Marv Albert at ringside. All right, Ferdy. Johnny Bumpus, who extends this record now to 19-0, 14 by knockout. Stopping Michael Bradley in round six. We checked in the corner. We had mentioned that uh, Bradley's ribs appear to be injured, but cutman Ralph Citro said he did not think that Michael Bradley's ribs were broken. But that is the opinion in the corner. All right, Johnny Bumpus uh, and uh, Ferdy raised the question about the crouch down technique of Michael Bradley, and Ferdy is alongside the referee Hank Sisko. Hank, those. Uh, knockdowns that we were calling crouch downs because neither his knee nor his glove hit the canvas. There's no standing eight count right. in this state. What were they counting over? What well, were you counting over? I was counting the fact that he was disabled himself. He just went down in pain. I look at a man's eyes and, he's, and he was hurt. And whether he's draped over the ropes or whether he just his hands down, uh, he was on his way down and I didn't want him taking more punishment. What was this pain due to? Do you think he had a fractured rib? I, I don't know. I, you know, but I, I would say that every good body shot he got, uh, he uh, reacted to it. It looked like it weakened right. his legs almost as if he had right. a broken uh, right. uh, rib and then every time yeah. he got hit well, he buckled with I, it. I'm a former fighter and I had a broken rib and I didn't react like that. Now he went down in, as far as I'm concerned in pain and he that was not in a position to fight. And he's not, I'm going to give him a count. Did the, you see, His safety, that's what I'm looking out for. Now you are the closest to the action. Did you see Bumpus in real trouble in that second yes, round? Yes, yes. Bumpus got hurt a couple times. It was a great fight. I love the rough rear fight like that. You know, it's great. Well, you did a good job. I don't know what that was either. If it's your call that uh, you should count over a fighter when he's hurt that way, then of course that probably protects the fighter. I am not saying one way no. or another. I, I don't think his, his, neither his knee nor his uh, glove hit the canvas. However, all of us are, are agree with you. He was hurt at that time. As long as I'm boss in this ring, I'm going to see that nobody gets hurt. Same thing with him going out of the ring. He got hit as a result of a punch going out. I gave, I gave him a count because he was hit by the punch and knocked him out. If he'd have been pushed out, I'd have given him time to get back in. All right. Uh, that is the... Uh, Two weeks in a row, we've seen you do a good job. Thank you. Now back to uh, Marv Albert. Thank but you. Ferdy, in effect, Hank Sisko's making up his own rules because there's no standing eight in the state of Pennsylvania. We'll get back to that later on. Right now, though, let's go.